Modern aviation owes its success to the jet engine. The technology was originally developed in the late 1930s and early 1940s for military use in World War II, but it has since powered the passenger aircraft revolution. There are many different variations on the jet engine, but the most commonly used in passenger planes is called a turbofan because it contains a turbine and a fan. So, what exactly is a jet engine and how does it work? What is a jet engine? A jet engine is a machine that converts energy-rich liquid fuel into a powerful pushing force called thrust. The thrust from one or more engines pushes a plane forward, forcing air past its scientifically shaped wings to create an upward force called lift that powers it into the sky. Jet engines move the airplane forward with a great force that is produced by a tremendous thrust and causes the plane to fly very fast. So, how does a jet engine work? A more technical name for a jet engine is a gas turbine, and although it's not immediately obvious what that means, it's actually a much better description of how a jet engine really works. Simply put, a jet engine works by burning fuel and air to release hot exhaust gas. But where a car engine uses the explosions of exhaust to push its pistons, a jet engine forces the gas past the blades of a windmill-like spinning wheel called a turbine, making it rotate. So, in a jet engine, exhaust gas powers a turbine, hence the name gas turbine. At the simplest level, the way a jet engine works can be reduced to just five words. Suck, squeeze, bang, blow, nozzle. Let's break down what that means. Suck. When you look at a jet engine, the first thing you will generally notice is that the front is a giant, many-bladed fan. Inside is what is known as the inlet. The blades act in exactly the same way the blades on a propeller or dust fan work, sucking air in and shoving it out the other side at high speed. The fan is the first component in a turbofan. The large spinning fan sucks in large quantities of air. It then speeds this air up and splits it into two parts. One part continues through the core or center of the engine, where it is acted upon by other engine components. The second part bypasses the core of the engine. It goes through a duct that surrounds the core to the back of the engine, where it produces much of the force that propels the airplane forward. This cooler air helps to quiet the engine as well as adding thrust to the engine. The fan in a jet engine does have a lot more blades than a desk fan, though, often more than 20, and most blades of the fan are made of titanium. Next is squeeze. Squeeze. We are now leaving pre-jet engine technology behind. Once the fan sucks in the air, some of it is not just forced around the engine, but is funneled to what is known as the compressor. The compressor is the first component in the engine core. The compressor is made up of fans with many blades and attached to the shaft. Inside, air is pushed along by many spinning discs loaded with small blades along a tube that gets smaller and smaller. The compressor squeezes the air that enters it into it. By squeezing the air, the air becomes much denser, hotter, and more explosive when fuel is added. This results in an increase in the energy potential of the air. Bang! For the pyromaniacs out there, there is where the fun begins. Fuel is added to the compressed air, creating a highly volatile mixture requiring a simple spark to burn. There are as many as 20 nozzles to spray fuel into the airstream. The mixture of air and fuel catches fire. This provides a high temperature and high energy airflow. The fuel burns with the oxygen in the compressed air, producing hot expanding gases that rapidly expands the air and generate the rest of the thrust of the engine. The inside of the combustor is often made of ceramic materials to provide a heat resistant chamber as the intense heat can reach 2700 Celsius. Next is the blow. The rapid expansion of the air during combustion generates a massive amount of pressure that needs to find a way out. The way out of a jet engine is at the end of another tube full of spinning discs bristling with blades that are spun by the force of the expanding gas. This part is known as a turbine. The high energy airflow coming out of the combustor goes into the turbine, causing the turbine blades to rotate. Once at the end of the turbine, the gases leave the engine at high speed, exerting a force on the engine in the opposite direction. The turbines of the jet spin around thousands of times. They are fixed on shafts that have several sets of ball bearings in between them. 
Lastly, nozzle. The nozzle is the exhaust duct of the engine. This is the engine part which actually produces the thrust for the plane. The energy depleted airflow that passes the turbine, in addition to the colder air that bypasses the engine core, produces a force when exiting the nozzle that acts to propel the engine and therefore the airplane forward. The combination of the hot air and cold air are expelled and produce an exhaust, which causes a forward thrust. The nozzle may be preceded by a mixer, which combines the high temperature air coming from the engine core with the lower temperature air that was bypassed in the fan. The mixer helps to make the engine quieter. So, to simplify. 1. We have the blades or the fans, which are important. A fan at the front sucks the cold air into the engine and forces it through the inlet. This slows the air down by about 60%. 2. A second fan called a compressor squeezes the air, that is, increases its pressure by about 8 times and this dramatically increases its temperature. Kerosene or liquid fuel is squirted into the engine from a fuel tank in the plane's wing. 3. In the combustion chamber, just behind the compressor, the kerosene mixes with the compressed air and burns fiercely, giving off hot exhaust gases and producing a huge increase in temperature. The burning mixture reaches a temperature of around 900 degrees Celsius. 4. The exhaust gases rush past a set of turbine blades, spinning them like a windmill. Since the turbine gains energy, the gases must lose the same amount of energy, and they do so by cooling down slightly and losing pressure. 5. The turbine blades are connected to a long axle that runs the length of the engine. The compressor and the fan are also connected to this axle. So, as the turbine blades spin, they also turn the compressor and the fan. 6. The hot exhaust gases exit the engine through a tapering exhaust nozzle. Just as water squeezed through a narrow pipe accelerates dramatically into a fast jet, the tapering design of the exhaust nozzle helps to accelerate the gases. So, the hot air leaving the engine at the back is traveling over twice the speed of the cold air entering it from the front. And that's what powers the plane. The ingenious part of the modern jet engine is that the intake fan, compressor, combustion chamber, and turbine are all linked by a single shaft running along the inside of the engine. So, when the expanding gases spin the turbine at the back, it helps spin the fan at the front, which keeps the process going and generates more thrust. That is all we have for you today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave us a like and hit that big bold red subscribe button to subscribe to our channel. Till next time!